Welcome back to another video and welcome to the very first video here in my new apartment slash office studio, whatever you wanna call it. I do apologize if it sounds a little bit echoey at the moment. Going forward, that will change. I haven't sound treated the walls yet, but hopefully in the next video, that will be different. So I decided that in today's video, because I've been so busy and just haven't had time to go out and really shoot client work or anything like that, I thought I'd talk about something that's very universal across all videographers or just video people in general. If you're a filmmaker or a YouTuber, a freelancer, doesn't matter, this will apply to you. Now this concept isn't anything new, it's heavily fixated on in photography, but I feel like us video people tend to neglect it or at the very least a lot of people don't look into it enough or we misunderstand it. And today I'm talking about depth. Now, because we're talking about video, there is a good chance that when you hear the word depth, your mind automatically goes to depth of field, that blurry background or that soft bokeh with the subject in focus. That is only one small part of creating depth. That is one of eight techniques I'm gonna be showing you today to get better depth in your shot. And I'll also go over why you want depth in your shots. Now, the first way which I've already mentioned is to have a shallow depth of field. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, but in simple terms, a shallow depth of field means that your subject is in focus while everything in front and behind your subject is out of focus. Now, you can achieve a shallow depth of field by turning your f-stop all the way down to its lowest number. And this opens up your aperture, resulting in more light hitting your sensor. And this is ultimately what will give you your shallow depth of field. So in this shot right here, I'm actually using an aperture of f2.0 8, which is fairly shallow and you can see that if I move out of frame and let the camera focus and then come back in you can see the difference it makes when the camera is focused on me the subject that throws the background out of focus that is a shallow depth of field now f 2.8 is the lowest that this current lens will go but if I was using another lens that did go lower a more shallow depth of field or a lower f-stop number could result in other problems such as having my nose in focus while my eyes are out of focus or vice versa because that depth of field is so shallow now our second method for creating more depth in your videos is to take your subject and distance them from the background. This one's pretty straightforward. If I were in here sitting or standing up against a wall, there would be no depth in the shot and the overall image would just look very flat. Generally speaking, a photo or a video that is flat and doesn't have any background separation won't look as cinematic and it's much less aesthetically pleasing. Now, while we're on the topic of flat images, if depth is what you're going for in your shots, you're gonna wanna make sure that your lighting isn't flat either. If your light source is straight on with your subject, you will be removing any shadows and have very flat lighting, ultimately leading to less depth in your image. But having the light slightly off to an angle does ensure that the lighting isn't too flat and add some shadows underneath their jaw. Whenever I'm lighting a subject, whether that's for an interview or for one of these videos, I always like to have my light at a 45 degree angle for my subject. And this creates a little bit more shadow on the far side of their face. I add a little bit of fill on that side to create less shadow so it's not so dramatic. Now my next tip for getting more depth in your videos is to use focal lengths strategically. Now if you wanna make a space or an area look much bigger, you could use a wider focal length and this just makes an area look massive, oftentimes much bigger than it actually is. But when you use a wider focal length, even though it makes things look further away, it also reduces background compression. So as a result, this shot actually doesn't look like it has as much depth as if I were using a slightly tighter focal length now the camera is more focused on me and that background is thrown more out of focus and there's a little bit more layering to the shot. Now, when it comes to tight or wide shots, one is not necessarily better than the other. This purely depends on what you're shooting, what the subject matter is, and what you wanna achieve in the framing and composition of your shot. Now, since we're already talking about composition, another thing I would like to add, and this is our next method, is to switch up your perspective. Oftentimes, if we're filming a subject straight on, even if that's a product or a person, it can make the appearance of the scene being very flat and you don't have a lot of depth there. But by simply lowering your camera or tilting it to the side and getting a different angle, you can totally switch 
switch up the perspective and introduce a lot more depth to your shot. Now this leads me into the next tip, which is somewhat similar, but this involves more camera movement, and that is to use a technique called the parallax. A parallax occurs when you're creating a camera movement where your subject or your foreground moves by very quickly, while your background is much slower. Now the higher your focal length or the more tight your lens is, the more dramatic the parallax effect will appear. Now to pull off a parallax, you don't necessarily need a gimbal or a dolly or any fancy equipment. You can do them handheld uh, very simply in a very short distance. And this is an easy and effective way to show depth in your shot because the subject that is closer to the camera is moving by so quickly while the background almost seems stagnant. Another really simple and effective way to create depth in your shots is to backlight your subject. What you can do is use some sort of light, whether that's a practical in your scene or another light just off to the side of the frame and have that aimed at the back of your subject and the light that is cast on the back of your subject will create separation from the rest of the scene, introducing that depth to your shot. Now the very last tip of the day for adding that depth into your videos is to add some context or add something into your foreground. I've actually already done an entire video about foreground, so if you wanna learn more about that, you can check it out up here. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.